For 25 years, the Center for Creative Arts at the University of KwaZulu-Natal has presented the Poetry Africa Festival. This unique week-long celebration is one of the single most important contemporary poetry events on the African continent. The Poetry Africa Festival is an annual coming together of wordsmiths across all ages and cultural and diverse linguistic backgrounds. The festival is a dynamic and a creative voice for social justice. The festival is proud to be associated with poets who have the courage to boldly engage with complex themes to promote tolerance and to build a better and safer society for all people. The Poetry Africa Festival is a celebration and an affirmation of the artistic freedoms guaranteed in the South African Constitution. Poetry Africa is supported by the French Institute of South Africa, Total Energies, the National Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences and the KZN Department of Arts and Culture. The festival is curated by Sipindile Songwa, a passionate and committed arts administrator who firmly believes in the power of the poet. Poetry gives hope, courage, comfort, healing, affirmation and reasoning. Poetry moans, poetry celebrates, questions, and dig out all the subtextual lies we are often fed. This year, we have celebrated past, present, and future participants of the Poetry Africa Festival. And we have created a legacy for the future to embrace. Thank you for sharing you Thank you for sharing your truth. Continue to speak out, for you have been unmuted. A highlight of the annual Poetry Africa Festival is the Slam Poetry Competition. Competing for a prize of 10,000 rands and the opportunity to represent South Africa at the World Slam Poetry Competition in Brussels next year. The Poetry Africa Festival received close to 100 entries this year. The Poetry Africa Festival also invited school-going poets and adult poets to share their poems on Facebook. The youngest poet is Taylor Sapontis, who is six years old. The eldest poet to enter the competition this year is Maggie Ordell, who is 76 years old. The school's competition received 231 entries. The open mic competition for poets over the age of 18 years received 325 poems. For this year's public participation program, we received poems in the following South African languages. Tlitsonga, Khoi Khoi, Afrikaans, English, Istosa, Isizulu, Sepedi, Sutswana, Jivenda, and Sisutu. This evening, we come to celebrate the end of the 25th edition of the Poetry Africa Festival, where we announce the winners of our open mic competition and present the five finalists in the slam competition. Before we announce the names of the winners of the open mic competition, the Center for Creative Arts is proud to announce that it is introducing a new award this year. The Poetry in Communities Award gives recognition to a community-led initiative that creates opportunities for poets of all ages and different demographics to come together and build their communities through poetry. This year's inaugural Poetry in Communities Award is presented to a community project that works towards building a spirit of shared heritages and promotes diversity. The project engages the arts to enliven their community, boost cultural tourism, and to also grow opportunities for artists in their community. The Center for Creative Arts is proud to present the inaugural Poetry and Communities Award to the Royal Arts Town Amphitheater in Rebex Valley in the Western Cape. I was happy and I was trots that I had a book on the book the Oak Loof and I know that there are people, there are people that I will lees en kinders wat ek wil lees en ek voel trots daarop. Ek is ook baie trots en ek voel baie geëerd omdat ons deur kan wees van die program dat ons met die prijsuitdeling deur van die prijsuitdeling kon wees. 
En ja, ek is André Smith en ek wil vir Ismael en sy span by Poetry Africa wil ek uit die diepte van my hart sê thank you, thank you so, so much for um, what you guys are doing just for the arts in general. En dan aan Mark, um, dankie Mark uh, Wilson, dat jy in ons mense van die vallei uh, die potentiaal gesien het om deel te kan wees van so'n besonderse, prachtige um, project. En die feit dat ons aan die einde van die dag erkenning kom kry het um, en kon wegstap met die kontantprys, dis een absolute, absolute bonus. En ja, baie, baie dankie dat ek dier my gedig um, die hart en dit wat in ons mense se koppe leef, dat ek iets daarvan aan die wereld kan deel. Wat te voor, baie, baie dankie daarvoor. Baie dankie André, and of course to all the poets who were, who were part of the, uh, the, the, the short film that we made. I'd also just really like to say to Ishmael and Sipendile and their whole team at uh, the Poetry Africa Festival, thank you so much for, first of all, inviting us to take part and then for bestowing this really, really great honor on us. I think that... Um, we're really proud to be part of your festival and, and with its wonderful um, the theme this year, Unmute Power to the Poet, which I think reflects very much what's happening in our valley where we are unlocking stories that have kind of been shoved under the carpet and hidden away. Poetry and artists have, have the voice to, to bring those stories into the light again and that's what we hope to continue doing in our work here. So thank you very much. Earlier this year, the Royal Arts Town Amphitheatre was awarded the annual Business Arts South Africa Award. The Poetry and Communities Award is the second award won by the project this year. The Poetry Africa Festival congratulates the Royal Arts Town Amphitheatre for giving power to the poets. The Poetry Africa Festival also wishes to present a special merit award this year to six-year-old Taylor Sapontis from Full 8 School in Virginia. At six years old, Taylor is the youngest poet to participate in this year's Poetry Africa Festival. The jury had the following to say about her poem, Flichy Flich. Both the content and delivery of the poem come together in a beautifully crafted poem that paints a clear picture with strong imagery. While some of the other entries focused on rhyme and wordplay, sometimes forced, this poem just flows with innocence and craft. Not perfect, but gripping and one that needs to be viewed again and again. Congratulations to Taylor Sapontis. The winners in the school's competition are, in third position, 15-year-old Jess Robus with 11 from Heronbridge College in Johannesburg. Wow, wow, wow. Really, thank you so much to Poetry Africa for this wonderful award. I'm so honored and grateful to have received it and to have this opportunity to share my words and my poetry with others. Poetry and mental health is truly a very special issue to me, and I'm so grateful that I get the opportunity to touch other people's lives with poetry as it has touched my own life. Thank you so much. In second position, 19-year-old Gatle Homoloa with Kekopa Hoboa from Eldoret Secondary School in Odendalris. The jury had the following to say about Gatleho's poem. Gatleho recited quite a graphic and descriptive piece on rape, addressing men on the horrors they commit to women, hoping they will mirror themselves and stop, with Sasutu's finest wordplay and respect. Hey guys, my name is Gatleho Molawa from Free State in Macedonia and Athenese. I am a poet. First of all, I want to thank judges for selecting me. I know it has been a very tough journey for you guys to select since the competition was very tough, but thank you for selecting me. I also want to thank people that are involved in Poetry Africa and also people who participated in the competition. For the love of poetry, I want to thank you guys. Stay blessed, everyone. Thank you. And the winner of the 2021 Poetry Africa Schools competition is 17-year-old Siamum Kweba with See Me, Hear Me from Word School Bloemfontein. The jury had the following to say about our winner, Siamum Kweba. She has a rare skill of being able to create a balance between a good performance, clear emotions, and great choice of words. I do not doubt her greatness. We at Poetry Africa too believe in her greatness. Hi, 
my name is Tiamo Ngweba. I am 17 years of age, an aspiring poet. I wrote the poem Hear Me, See Me, and it was just based on the struggles that women face and the inequalities we also face. And so I just like to say thank you to Africa Poetry for this platform for young um, poets like us. And yeah, thank you for the opportunity as well. Congratulations to all the winners of the 2021 Poetry Africa Schools competition and power to the school poets. And now, the winners of the 2021 Poetry Africa Open Mic competition, which is awarded to participants over the age of 18. The winners are, in third position, 20-year-old Amahe Kimbili from Pretoria for her poem, GBV. This young lady bravely probes a GBV that took a rise even during the global pandemic. Her ambiguous apology at the end beckons society to rethink gender inequality and gender-based violence. Hello everybody, hello everyone. My name is Kimbili Amate, a South African poet. I'm super excited to announce that I've been declared as the winner of Poetry Africa Open Mind Competition 2021. Yes, it is big and I believe that it will open many doors for me in the future. Thank you, Poetry Africa, for this opportunity. In second position, 25-year-old Patience Labane from Bloemfontein for her poem, Prayers. Hello beautiful people, so my name is Patience Ndawling Labani and I am excited um, to be the winner of the Poetry Africa 2021 Open Mic. Yes, um, so it has been a thrilling journey um, to be part of this amazing, amazing um, initiative from UKZN. Um, it's been amazing to see other poets, um, to, to listen to other poems, you know, and to just be part of this, this amazing um, initiative so thank you so much for allowing me to be your open mic poet peace out the winner of the 2021 poetry africa open mic competition is 21 year old caramel from polo Kwane for his poem Kijele Kamuteng. the jury had the following to say about caramel's poem caramel wrote a felt grounded and educational piece but moreover, a well-articulated Sebedi poem with great use of creative visuals and vivid imagery on regret. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Caramel and I am very grateful for this win. I've been waiting for this my whole life. It's like I've been waiting for this ever since I started knowing about Poetry Africa. Thank you so much for this win. You really, really made my year. <laughs> The Poetry Africa Festival congratulates the winners of the Open Mic Competition, which gives more power to the poets. The Audience Choice Award is presented to the poet who receives the greatest amount of engagement on social media. This includes received likes, comments and shares. The winner of the Audience Choice Award in the schools category is Roberta Shikwambana with her poem, If Only You Knew. The winner of the Audience Choice Award for the Open Mic Competition is Vanessa the Poet Star with her poem Nyaope. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the finals of the annual Slam Competition. The winner of the Slam Competition receives a cash prize of 10,000 rands and an invitation to perform at Poetry Africa Festival next year, as well as representing South Africa at the World Slam Competition in Brussels in Belgium next year. Before we showcase the five finalists and announce the winner of the SLAM competition, let us once again take this opportunity to thank our sponsors. The Guazulu Natal Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, the University of Guazulu Natal, the French Institute of South Africa, Total Energies and the National Institute of South Africa. And now, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax and let's watch the performances by the five finalists. They perform in no particular order. The jury has prejudged the performances and the winner will be announced this evening. Thank you. 
Kule ya mimpilo ngakesa wena nguba ni nguwa baba ngani. Kunga anu ngaipe nduli msandazi ya basuele. Asandazi nguba sinuele. Kepa sifunu kupilo kupagate. Siaba bono ndanga bakwela majele. Aba nyesebe pangalele. Yete sabambeli ndabazi vezi viza nga inguele. Nati sinama pupo ngozi ya visu kwa nimi ispinde si imele. Engu bagwe la giti kasi bakisha iliza anda muiki inza sazi. Kwa tine mbeze sebe skipi ili ngaza bazi. Kiampa banyi banga keza ngazu kusasa mafuge sebe uubazi. Impilo le kazi ya shonishwa. Aimina ngsazi. Inja da benza ngao na mta anja banda basha. Aba funu kula babi badala. Kuna loko bachaki zindo za banda badala. Nazipula li mnyagi senga aga. Ogo nje slaselo yi COVID-19. Nguzuili ya kweta kakulu ngala basebe badala. Aungo spiga pele mtabe nuzo siza. Wasu sasa bona la banda basu kombi sinja. Ndela ukula nupa mdala Uwa wa sdala Uya sanda sngaban paka Fanele nje sifiso we iluani Na ine tupego nga pianda Ekbe nis ni mali onge gnilizwe Kepa ipigi giti ne sadla ngudala Siti waita baba pezulu Pela sabe yi kulu Ngisho nganga belega la pobata bakulu Iye nzuli nje ngpegile Usazo mbiza na nungulu ngulu Sena mkaze laga banzu Nunga sebe nziska kele ni tuba Zina ngapa suyo chabula Sise kline nza pumula Ninga buzu gupshungo Bogo nza gumunye na guwe gya buya Angsale Sensula, ya bea sobe kulu mange nanda Basa kutkebe ngu gya fi wako takutwela mapanda Izi ngeza ashi iskole panza Sasa solda li mpundu Sinange mkondwe sapu wenzi mali Nenka alaba nye bezo embu Minalezo ziko kulu mangazu guzi zongmela Uti ngo putamu neziku zopte hotela Unga kasha ngisho makelo anizi ngane ziba kulela Anga nage kunga fansu kwa hulu meni Ye masada prikens and meni Sen kotli wa ingu sininene wazu pila nislondi ni ameni Kshambe sen saba ngisho kubwa li bazo klimala Makta li ugutu zoba ipanta shizi ila bazo wenzi Lana bantu, ayimina nkasele bantu Kangozo kube nini sibali labanta batu umezi nja numpagazi Ekbe nila bo bantu shkugesi mwa babanta bana masale Ndaba nga paga misika malena nda ngubushe in front Skasele nje kukalu kebe ngukwele wongu mshaba Senkalu ngnosi samanju kusinda wei shupegili Izo neno kebe nga kunu nge nga isi mosom noze shchegili Ekbe nsile zbodili Nge kioso kula nga zeli lushi Jumna loko sviyo zola bona la boso mpwele tiki kusua bali imali Jebe nga bo shoba tsebi sane zone lezi mali nga bisi zumpagazi Banbagi isi masa gunji asma Mno guzi sikula wa inja li malibi kodi Liwe ila baba yi kumama Imbo ngisiko zaani I hate the one who came with it, who created it, who injected black skin saying this is just population control, I have a cure for it, and died before he got rid of it, because this feels worse than the Israelites' punishment, breaks a lot of relationships when the sea of love cannot handle it because I was positive and she was negative and suddenly we were dying from the silence that was creeping inside of me as she lay next to me begging me please talk to me say something sing that song that you tend to sing to me sexy lady drives me crazy silence I wanted to sing it, but what was flowing inside of me was so contagious. And I'm so scared to give her what I've got, because the next thing I'll be getting a slap. And she would be asking me, who named you God to put my life at risk like this? Isn't it love for better or worse through sickness to health? But in this case, I decided to impregnate myself with silence, and I'm bonding with it. I could feel it grow, but sometimes I wish I could abort the monster that's becoming me, because she not the mother of this monster so tell me where do you begin unlearning these monstrous lessons of indoor daikal ifelanga pagat where else ipagatilam is a battlefield of 300 spartans against 10,000 persian soldiers and my soldiers are dying failing to defend themselves because they forgot the very first rule of war viga vula saba senya saba to let it know that i ate from the forbidden fruit that i made a vow to never let its seeds grow inside of me questions of anger are blinding me why is it disease that are hitting them are so easy to find a cure or are they pure of skin but when it hits us the dark of skin it cannot be cured 
just control another way of killing our source of supply so we cannot multiply one is born and the other one is left behind being a stat losing count losing weight wait as i contemplate should i tell her or should i shift the blame as why i had an undercover lover that got me getting home late late night dinner dates that let me feeling empty inside besides i was the fish in this debate i took in the bait even though i knew very well it might kill me at the end so my players have changed asking the black nation asking the black nation to come with a formula to cure to unsilence my mistakes of thinking hiv means that i'm a river that's forgotten how water flows walked into the ocean and the water became me spilled the sea into a bathtub and tried not to drown in myself dead friends clawed their way up my throat my wrists a river i drink from i tried not to spill the nile and its ghosts that held me in their palms i pried my life from the grasp of a death i recognized took shots of whiskey from a bleeding phantom we danced to kendrick lamar and all the other songs about dying black boys poured myself out for the homies my umbilical wrapped itself around my throat my mother was the fire i do not tell her how many times i have almost died how much blood i have made an ocean that is between me and the ancestors sacrificed another heart to keep breathing when will i stop leaking lovers from my fingernails i have scratched myself raw trying to find the exit wounds dodged death so often where does the reaper take his tax another friend died this year but this black boy stays defiant keep my wrists divinely attached to my arms carve temples from my spine mistake myself for holy with these bones made of water i have come to myself to be baptized a soggy scripture clinging beneath my fingertips sam cook running out my mouth i was born a dying flood name a black boy who wasn't the waters have offered me exorcisms I'm afraid the hauntings will leave with the memories so this black boy stays defiant has started visiting cemeteries tipping himself into the soil of the new asleep tomorrow come collect the lilacs from these graves you cannot take them from my mouth because tomorrow i will not be dead yet Things have not changed. Bodies remain fractured, tortured, beaten up, diced up, packed up. Cries seem only to be heard by the victims and they are perpetrators. The justice system seems to have lost its hearing, mama. 
I am stuck in a body that I have inherited from you, from her, from them. Undi pile uluka, kota undi panga maka, okumelana nezu ndoza na mshaba. Ewe umoya wa muyavuma, kotwa hai, aka humi ngo bufuku fuku, esisheni kubo. Mama ndombelele ingoma, ezo kututuzela, ama ngaba kata dewe tu. Mama ndibole ke umkenzo, ozo shukumisa, atukumise, isazela so putile tu mama. Sizi libe nukuba sizalwa ngubani. We have inherited the heritage of blood, vengeance and hate that is not of our own. The system you once stood up against we now stand with. We have become the monsters they made. Maolo mama. Kutala ndi kukangela, kutala ndi funa ukuteta na we masambe mama. Masi ambe siye embo, apo unosifundisa, utando, utolo, nemvi siswa. Plant the seed of true reconciliation. Nourish the soil with fairness and justice to feed the roots of this here nation. Forgive us as we forgive ourselves, as we are victims, as much as we are perpetrators in this here situation. Molo. How do I write about being a woman when I'm afraid? I let that fear sit for days, like the bodies of women in fields, in parking lots, in post offices, alone, afraid, for days, woman but not enough human, woman but not enough human for a nationwide outcry or a revolution, just a woman, not even enough human. How do I write about being a woman when I'm afraid, when the fear sits with me for days, when I can recall sexual advances from a young age where I should have been learning ABCs and not toxic masculinity, where I should have been learning finger art and not being exposed to graphic art, where I was just a girl, not even yet a woman, but still not enough human. How do I write about being a woman when I'm afraid, when my best friend rapes me and calls it a day, calls it a mistake, tells me we were drunk, we were supposed to blame. That my no meant yes, that my push meant pull, that the tension in my body was a welcome cue, that I was all woman but still not enough human. How would I write about being a woman when my anger and my fear intertwines because there are too many stories just like mine or just like yours. They shout women should be celebrated and whisper that they'll kill us like it's calculated. They tell us we deserve love and respect but only at an expense that touch is only worth my life, affection only worth my breath, that sex is a concept only appreciated when dead. That I am always woman but I'm never enough human for the world to ask when will end. When will the headlines stop and the heartbeats continue? When will our cries be heard and not just symbols, our bodies beautiful and not just memorials? Because I'm tired, I'm angry and I'm hurt that I will never be enough because I'm a her. And my voice will be drowned out by sorries and we will do better and then they'll go and add more names to a seemingly endless death letter. Why can't you celebrate her? Why can't you celebrate her, protect her and do better? Why does your humane actions need a thank you letter? I should thank you for treating me right. Thank you for not raping my sister. Thank you for not being abusive like your father. I should thank you, congratulate you, applaud you for acting humanely or what? We'll get what we deserve and have our names in an obituary. See, I'm tired. I'm angry and I'm hurt that I will never be enough because I'm a her. And I want to write about being a woman, but I'm afraid. And the fear sits with me for days. Like the bodies of women in fields, in parking lots, in post offices, alone, afraid for days. Your five finalists are Terence Nisma, Kabi Sovili, Amens Kosana, Siabulela Javu, and Kale Tumkuzulo. You have seen the top five. And now, the winner of the 2021 edition of the Poetry Africa Slam competition, who will walk away with 10,000 rands, a slot at the 2022 Poetry Africa Festival, and represent South Africa at the World Slam competition in Brussels next year is... Abi Sovili. 
the birds are falling. Too afraid of pleasure, we inherit pain. It is lonely rite of passage to sacrifice ourselves bloody and prostrate on a funeral mountain because Nindoda must, sickeningly beautiful because of how well we bruise ourselves, each other, crows we let feast on our wounds. In time, the worm will devour the bird. It is slow, but the bird is patient. It gives of its wings, provides its bones because Indorda must. The worm will turn dust to dust, will till the ground, unearth the early dead. We too give of our bodies, breaking and snapping because Indorda must. It is peaceful here, cracking masculinity into kindling. Watch it sizzle and burn. We know how to build a fire, how to take life. Season our flesh with smoke and salt. We do not account for our sins, still making scapegoat of our fathers who left with the crows, our missing morsels swinging from their mouths. When you return, prodigal, we will sweep you a ululating path to the liquor store because indoor the must. You carry a thirsty pocket knife close to your heart, hungry for blood. All these blades we have for therapists. Another one of the men I love will turn to ghost in a tavern tonight. Because indoor da must. At the funeral, a vulture will sit beautiful on his coffin. We will rejoice in our plague. Say... He was a good man, died early enough not to twist himself into a sneering eulogy. At night, I dream of his corpse, the worms that feed on his good, will feast and feast and feast, until the earth is belly full, until it opens its mouth and we drip from its teeth and all us graves will finally laugh. Once again, congratulations to Kabi Sovili. Go forth and break even more barriers. We look forward to seeing you next year performing at the Poetry Africa Festival. Go forth and represent South Africa well in Brussels at the World Slam competition. As we bring the 25th edition of Poetry Africa to a close, we express our appreciation to all the poets who have participated this year. Thank you to our sponsors, the French Institute of South Africa, Total Energies, National Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences, Wazulu Natal Department of Arts and Culture, and to the University of Wazulu Natal. My name is Nomvo Selelo Miende and I look forward to seeing you next year at the 26th edition of Poetry Africa. <laughs>